What's up, everybody? This is Mommy Wata, and I am back, you all. I hope you all are doing good at this time. Staying safe, enjoying your weekend. This is a timeless message, okay? But someone is behind the eight ball, and this is someone that you did have a very strong connection with. So well, let's just see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know. Holy Spirit, what is the message regarding this energy? that I've picked up within my collective Holy Spirit. They're behind the eight ball. We have the nine of swords. They're in the eight of swords. Like they are at a very, very big disadvantage in life. I don't feel like this person is going to be able to recover from this disadvantage. And I, I do feel like you have something to do with it. How they treated you has something to do with it. So let's just see, Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about this download that I received, this timeless download? They are behind the eight ball. Look what them popped out here, y'all. Nine of swords. They are in despair. They, they don't see a way out of their circumstances and their problems because this is the energy that they were in when they were out here trying to cause blockages for you and being in this deceitful behavior towards you. It's something about you. You are this person's karma, I'm hearing. You are their karma. Them, they, This person could mistreat 20 other people, but the fact that they mistreated you this is why they are suffering now. And the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. Okay? Because you're the big boss. You have more authority in the spiritual realm than this person. You are more revered by the universe than this energy, this karmic energy who tried to cause the same issues they're experiencing. This person tried to cause these issues for you. It's called balance. It was just two, two, two on the phone when I was saying that. What they wanted for you is what they are now experiencing. And it's enlightening them to the fact that they are the cause of their own demise. Not you. Them, their behavior towards you definitely set it off. Okay? Definitely, definitely caused some type of transformation to occur. Because again, I'm picking up that this person has done this to multiple people. With this Six of Pentacles child, I'm pulling right off the top of the um, deck. Right off the bottom of the deck, rather. This person has breadcrumb. I heard 20 people. This person has probably mistreated 20 people in the same way that they mistreated you, okay? But they're only in regret about you. Because your prayers hit a little different to the universe. When you cry out to the universe because someone has mistreated you or done you wrong, 333, okay? The universe hears your cry. And because you are so obedient, because you are so faithful, because you don't really be out here messing with nobody, you just really be out here trying to do the best you can, okay? When you cry out to the universe, your cries are answered, okay? God hears you. It just started raining, okay? And the universe gets in gear and judgment is passed on anyone who messes with this emperor divine energy that you are, okay? Highly revered by the universe, I'm hearing. What did this person do to my collective Holy Spirit, this devil energy, possibly a king of cups? Okay. And I'm not a king of cups. Don't mean that this person is a cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. I'm going to start specifying that because a king of cups can come out as an energy, a person who is a father, a husband, a lover. Okay. An intuitive guy. I mean, a king of cups can be a lot of things, not just a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, okay? But this king of cups, I heard lover specifically, 
And I heard a guy who knows how to manipulate people's emotions. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. We have the Knight of Wands. Definitely knows how to manipulate people's emotions, cause them to even engage in outlandish behavior, I'm hearing, because of the way he can make them feel. He can make them feel like doing what he wants them to do will cause them good fortune, but they're actually in the Six of Pentacles when they deal with him, okay? This is what happened with you. I'm hearing. This man did the same thing to you that he's done to 20 other people, but your cries out to the universe, your cries out to the most high, they hit a little different, honey. And they behind the eight ball as a result of how they treated you. Okay? What happened between this emperor and this king of cups? We have the king of swords. I'm telling you, this person really tried to keep you in some type of toxic cycle where they were constantly breadcrumbing you, possibly through sexual activity I'm getting with this Knight of Wands to the King of Cups, because I definitely heard emotional manipulation. This, this King of Cups is very good at manipulating people's emotions, making them feel a certain way. He's able to make them feel a certain way by how he physically makes them feel, but he's not truly accepting any offers from anyone. This person got a lot of healing to do and they're about to heal. God is balancing them right on out, okay? This person is, is getting the business, I'm hearing, in a variety of ways. Clarify those ways, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. And God wants you to know about this person's karma because some of y'all really have been thinking like, will this person ever pay for what they did to me? You ain't out here wishing no ill will on them, but you just wonder, you know, is this, are, you know, is, it, is this one of the times when people get away with doing wrong? You've been wondering that. And the Holy Spirit wants you to know that, no, baby, God did not turn his back on you. God has been keeping an eye on this situation for a long time, but it really is given that. God was waiting for you to take your hands off of it. God was waiting for you to get into some sense of peace and happiness within yourself that you wasn't worried about what happened to this devil energy in your life, this king of cups. You, you were not worried about their karma because all you wanted for yourself was to be at peace. You wanted to feel good again. And when you let it go, that's when God got in gear. But I do feel like part of you getting to this three of cups because of the way the page of swords has fallen above it, that you needed to cry out to God. You need to give it to God. And that's what you did. And when you cried out to God, when you cried out to the universe, when you asked for help from the most high regarding this situation, this is when they got in gear on him. Okay, clarify that, Holy Spirit. Three of Swords, child, this man going through it. This, this individual taking back the man aspect because I'm hearing that this King of Cups energy ain't just a man. It's an energy. It's someone who has played with you, but they played with so many other people and you were the one who brought their karma in. Your, your cries out to the most high brought their karma in. I keep hearing that. You, you are getting, there is just, justice is being served not only for you, but for other people. Clarify that. I'm telling you that that's what I'm hearing. The Ace of Wands. You all are going to have a new passion for life. You are going to feel a release, I'm hearing. You are going to feel those karmic spiritual ties break even more. I feel like at times you still pick up on this King of Swords. Well, I said King of Swords because that's how he treated you. That's how he behaved at times. This King of Cups, King of Swords, devil energy. You know, I just feel like this person... 
something about you. Something about you for sure. But this person messed with the wrong divine being. Okay? Because I'm talking about you done brought their karma in heavy. 10-10 on the phone. This person is heartbroken. They're, they're in some type of spiritual prison. They're in the nine of swords. They're in the hangman. Okay? You, five of cups. Nothing is going right for them. We have the sun. And meanwhile, everything is going right for you because that's also part of this Ace of Wands energy, that new passion that you all have because you no longer have that emotional tie to this masculine. Okay? So when him getting, him being behind the eight ball means that you all are at an advantage. You all are in the Ace of Wands. You all are experiencing a rebirth. It's a lot of y'all. It's a 1101 on the phone. It's a lot of y'all that this particular energy right here hurt for sure. Okay? This this is why this is timeless because you're going to hear about it at different times. I'm getting what, what was on the bottom. Ten of Cups, Eight of Wands, High Priestess. Y'all going to get the business, the 411 at different times within the future. Okay, you're going to hear about this person's karma. You're going to hear about this person's misfortunes and their setbacks. I'm even hearing illness. Okay, and this ain't me wishing nothing on nobody. This is me relaying a message from the universe, from the most high. Because this person has hurt a lot of women. Not just women. Clarify that. I'm really hearing that. See what is going on. The hyphen with the six of swords. This person has walked away from many commitments, many decrees that he got into with another and pretended to be someone who was going to be faithful and true and be of high moral value and character. 1221 on the phone. But he left. He moved on and left destruction behind. That's what the Six of Pentacles, excuse me, the Six of Swords, because he was messing around with multiple people. Six of Pentacles is already out here. The Six of Swords talks about leaving destruction behind after the storm, the calm after the storm. And this is his this is his energy to always leave destruction behind and move on to another. Okay, to withdraw from energies that he may have even publicly gave affection and time and effort to. Okay, like people know that he is in this energy. People have witnessed this man jump from woman to woman to woman to back to that other woman to this one over here over there to that one then over there to the one down there okay i'm really getting that i heard 20 women and i'm still hearing that this three of cups is a lot of women who will be in this victorious energy when this man is heartbroken because he had them at a disadvantage for so long because he was emotionally and sexually manipulating a lot of energies, a lot of them. That's why he came out here as the devil because that's what he was acting like, a whole demon, a whole sexual demon. I'm hearing. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. We have the King of Pentacles. The Seven of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Presenting himself like a partner, like a friend. 1414, someone who was stable, someone who was grounded, who would be a committed person. He kept keeping this, this illusion going. He kept selling women dreams. And not just any woman. Nine of Pentacles. Other divine energies who did not deserve this treatment. 1441. Okay. And I'm telling you, this person here, this person is really, really 
going through it. I mean, it's bad. This person is not going to recover from... It's like he's getting... 21 people 20 if you the 20 if you the 21st person this man is getting 21 people's worth of karma all at once you do the math 15 15 on the phone that man ain't finna recover from all of that karma flooding him at once like that i'm really getting that clarify that holy spirit and you wanted to know you think this man ate a cups and walked off and moved on and he ain't suffering, child. He's suffering from, from selling all of these various nine of pentacles energies, dreams, and the possibility of a commitment, knowing that he was going to leave them behind for good. He's suffering for that. Anything else you want to We got the Ten of Swords. I'm trying to tell you. I know what I'm picking up on. Because I wouldn't be up here talking about it if I did. And I heard specifically that this was a timeless message. Whenever you hear this message, this is when that person, that catalyst in your life who behaved in this way, 1616, and also behaved in this way in the lives of other women, that person is currently going to be going through it when you hear this message. Okay? You know, I ain't going to say your wishes came true. But I am going to say that you are going to feel satisfied. You are not going to feel any guilt because this person needed to be stopped. Justice needed to be served because there were too many loving women that this man played around with. And I'm telling you, your cry to the most high shined a light down on his egregious, sordid, delusional, deranged, manipulative, toxic, and narcissistic behavior. And it was time for the universe to get in gear and give this man what he deserved. And when they got in gear, I'm telling you, a lot of y'all are going to feel some sense of release. When you feel, it's like one day you're going to be like, dang, I ain't thought about him in a minute. And that's because you have been freed. When the tower hit for him, it's going to free a lot of y'all spiritually, okay? Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else you would like for us to know? Please and thank you. We have the chariot. You will move on. Continue to move forward with success, with success and happiness in your life. And this person is going to be in the nine of swords because he messed with the wrong divine feminine, okay? And I'm dropping the mic on this Empress card. He messed with the, the wrong divine energy. Whether it was a masculine or a feminine, vice versa, this is going for everybody here, okay? 1818. And I'm gonna leave it there. I hope this message helps you. I hope it gives you insight and guidance on how to move forward. I hope it helps you to fully release this karmic tie, this karmic soul tie that you've been dealing with. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.